in search generic greeting here and welcome to yet another candy tasting video. Today I'm joined by Sophia. Hi. Which hasn't been on the channel for quite a while, like half a year. But yeah. then again, I don't know in which order I upload these videos, so maybe you will see like 10 videos with her back to back to back. So <laughs> does that make no sense in that case? Yeah, but we haven't filmed for six months. So. We haven't filmed for, yeah. yeah, quite a while. So now it is spring already again, which means we can film outside, which is always more fun in my opinion. And the candy we have today comes from Macedonia or North Macedonia. If you put value into saying North Macedonia, but I grew up with saying Macedonia, so I just yeah. say that. Weirdly enough, I bought most of these in Germany because we have a Macedonian store close by, mm. which is very specific. All of these are also expired because we have struggled to find time to film for a while. Yes. So um, I hope this will not affect the flavor. Hopefully not, but yeah, we should be fine. And this is, sweets. Yeah, exactly. And this is quite a mix, so things in here are hopefully a good representation of the country. You can let us know that in the comments, like if these products are actually things Macedonian people buy or if none of this is actually like fitting the country or something like that. Yes, and if there's like a favorite of you missing or yeah. like we are trying your favorite, just like leave That a would comment. be lovely to know, yeah. Or if you hate all of these. Oh yeah. like. Oh my god, what did you pick? They're all so bad. Now what we'll see. Yeah. Usually we do like blind grabbing, but like mm, it could kind of work. Like behind our back, kind of like. <laughs> if you're careful with the box, it can work. It might, yeah. Kind of. I'll pick this. So here we have, oh, I don't even think this is technically a sweet because I just realized it looks like a chocolate bar. I thought it said <laughs> chocolate compound cake. so like you know just being called a cake but it says chocolate compound for cake so i that's guess for this, baking a chocolate cake <laughs> i guess like it should probably still be edible as it is yeah. but like i don't think people eat this as a candy yeah i mean in germany we have this like i think with the chew and people don't eat that yeah like this i mean some people do mm. Mm. it tastes good though it tastes very different than usual chocolate which again brings us back to this is probably not eaten this way. I think we are we are very spoiled in Germany with good chocolate, mm -hmm. and this tastes like cheap chocolate. To me, it tastes kind of like ice cream ish. Mm, not yeah, ice I cream, guess. but like as a flavor, you would put into like I don't know, not McDonald's, but like McDonald's adjacent mm. soft ice cream. Like this is mm -hmm. kind of what this tastes like to me. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. It's just like. Yeah, to me it, it tastes like like cheap chocolate. Mm. Mm. <laughs> we forgot this product. I'm not even sure how I'm gonna edit this in. But um, since we had like, you know, the dark chocolate compound for cake, I also bought a white one. Mm. Again, not realizing this is not normal chocolate. Well, oh. oh my God, this looks very white. This is very white. I'm probably gonna put this like into the middle of the video, not at the end. So this is gonna be very random as information. Mm when you watch this. We already finished filming at this point and then we realized, shit, there's one more product mm -hmm. in this. Tastes like vanilla. Kind it's of. also not very sweet. Mm. It doesn't taste like white chocolate at all to me personally. Yeah. And I don't think I like it. I love I white chocolate, okay. but like... I don't even want to finish my piece. This is this is like, I don't know. It's better than something that's coming up. <laughs> that's a way to spoil the video. Keep watching if you want to see. Watch till the end. Yes, please do that. And also subscribe. That was a if very random placement for that. But like, yes, do that. Okay, for a big change, we have Stoby Flips. Which is interesting to me because like, I mean, we call these flips, like, you know, the peanut puff things in Germany. But originally, from my understanding, this is like an Israeli product called Bamba. And in English speaking countries, it's also called Bamba. So whenever I see it being called flips outside of Germany, I'm like, huh? Mm. I'm very curious if this tastes the same as the German one. Yeah. Because I had it from Israel before and it tasted very different. Oh, okay. I also love, like, I never learned Macedonian, but like this says, so kiki riki and in russian it would be called skukurisam 
or something like that. So it's very close actually. There's mm -hmm. just more eyes in this, mm -hmm. okay. which kind of sounds cuter. So kikiriki. Uh huh. They also, first of all, they look very different in a way. Yeah. They look like yeah. much paler. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> they are very different and still the same in a way. I don't know how to describe it. It's like it's way less peanut flavor to the German ones. It's more like you you taste the corn flavor more because it's like a corn yep. corn flip with a peanut flavoring. Exactly. I mean, what it, that's what it says because it literally says with corn, kikiriki, kukurusa, kukurisa, whatever in whatever language is corn. Mm. They're good though. I really like them. They're way more salty than ours though. Mm, I don't think so. They're also like, because it's just more corn based than ours, I feel like, mm -hmm. they're much lighter. Like they kind of dissolve in your mouth. Whereas in Germany you have more of a thing to bite into. Mm, yeah. And here there's not really, like you instantly threw it and you're like, wait. They like melt. Immediately. Yeah, exactly. Which is good though, I like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Like, frankly, I would buy those. Mm -hmm. I think this is like a snack that you can eat quite a few of because they're not as flavorful, not not too much. Not as filling and mm -hmm. rich, I guess. Yeah. Um, let's just take this one. All right, here we have Cocos Caramella. Mm -hmm. Now, I mean, that's basically toffees, which is called Caramella in Slavic languages. Yeah. Mm. And I think it's also called caramels in English sometimes. Yeah, in German too, Caramelle. Yeah. And these are like very typical in Slavic countries, actually, like in several flavors. So I think I'm not sure how Macedonian it is, mm. but you have products like these everywhere in the Yeah, oh my god, they smell super coconutty. Wow, through the paper. Uh -huh. You don't even have to open it. Let's see how hard they are because they are expired and stuff. Wow, this is very, this is literally like a coconut kind of. Uh -huh. It's also very, very white. Ooh. Mm. Mm -hmm. They don't taste as coconutty though. True, but I like that. Like it's not overpowering. It's good. It's just too hard to bite into. Which could be really the reason of expiration. Oh, it hurts on my teeth actually. My teeth are not good. I like them though. If they would be softer. Yeah, they're not bad, but I wouldn't go for them. Mm. Generally, I'm not that much of a Coconut toffee, fan? Oh. Mm. toffee fan. So. Yeah, I love coffee and stuff like that. And here we have milk toffee. Does this say Europa? Yeah, Europa. So Europe in Macedonian. Which I think is a brand actually. Yeah, it's on the back. So Europa I think is like the big brand of like Macedonian products. Okay. Which is kind of weird. Like why would you call your Macedonian company Europe? Mm. But I don't know. Cute. It looks very different in a way. Yeah. But also, like in a way, I don't know what that exactly means, but it reminds you of like very classic candy. Mm, yeah, yeah. Like like the ones that you find at your grandparents' place or something. Yeah, like very old schoolish. Ooh, that's awesome. weird. It's very different, especially. It's hard to. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Mm. Oh, that tastes super milky. Wow. Very much like caramel. So like very, very, very standard toffee in a way. But like, I think they are very milky too. True, yeah. I mean, there is milk toffee, so. Mm. I do like that one more. Mm. I would eat this more likely. Mm -hmm. Again, way hard for me, but like, if it wouldn't be that hard. Strudels! <laughs> With apple, honey and cinnamon, which sounds really, really good. Kind of sounds like an like an apple pie. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this is like very typical for Macedonia, but like especially if I think of Germany, like this sounds very German, which is mm. so confusing about this. Oh, they are melted together. Huh? Yeah. Kinda. They're also very melty in general. Ooh, like, oh, yeah, very chocolatey. Mm. 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 Mm -hmm. See, flavor-wise, they're really good. The problem is just like the cookie crumble bit in it makes it very apparent that they're industrial. Mm -hmm. But I like them. I could imagine them being very good with like a cup of tea. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Flavor-wise, they're really good. Uh -huh. I don't think I like the textures. 
Especially the combination of the textures. I think they're kind of strange to me. That's personally. what I was going to say. I like it. I like the combination. Mm. Like the cookie part is like really crumbly and the, the fruit filling is like chewy. Mm -hmm. And then the chocolate is just there. Yeah. I don't think the chocolate is necessary for the taste. But True. But probably to keep the cookie together. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. I think I'm gonna try the drink because I accidentally grabbed the drink. Oh. She doesn't really like soft drinks, so yeah. that's why I'm doing this alone. Here we have Strumka. Traditional refreshing, it says basically. This one's not expired. <laughs> oh, yeah. It seems to be lemonade with pear flavor. And that's like the best thing to me personally. Just a bit of a backstory, I traveled a lot in like um, ex-Soviet countries and for some reason somewhere in the area traditional lemonade is made with pear flavor. And I'm not sure if it's Russian or if it's from the Caucasus area because like in the Soviet Union everything got kind of shared around so it's very hard to say what origins certain things had. Also like things you now see as traditional Russian food could often be not Russian but it's just not really clear where they come from. Yeah. Therefore you have pear lemonade in that area. I just don't know where it's originally from and I love it. Whenever I'm in these countries, the only thing I drink, as long as I can find it, is pear lemonade. Okay. Which is interesting to me that, like, you know, Macedonia, which is very separated from those countries, except the fact that it's also Slavic, mm, has pear lemonade. But I didn't even see... I, I smell it. Oh my god. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> the thing is, like, since, um, you know, a certain sickness has ravaged the planet. I haven't really been in ex-Soviet countries and currently traveling to Russia is also like, from an ethical standpoint, a bit questionable. Yeah. So I don't really have access to this kind of lemonade and this makes me so happy because like the last time I've been in these countries was 2019, which is four years ago. Yeah. So I haven't had pear lemonade in four years because Germany doesn't produce stuff like that. Mm. Oh my god, this smells so good. Does it taste the same? Mm -mm. Okay. <laughs> and it's not expired, so that can't even be the problem. It's like good for another like half year. See, okay, here's the weird thing. Um, first of all, it has too little like fizziness in it. Mm, okay. Like there's just too little gas, which makes it weird as a lemonade. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I don't want to have pear juice. I want to have pear lemonade. Mm. You have like an underlying flavor of pear, and that's really good. But like the dominant flavor, something weird chemical. Okay. Oh, this is such a disappointment because it smells exactly like the ones from Russia. Mm -hmm. But the taste. Oh well. <laughs> it might be growing on me, but like, this is a letdown. The main flavor is something very weird. Mm. It's not really pear. It's like I don't know what it is. Okay. My turn. Me and you. Hazelnut. Cocoa coated. Oh, this is also from Yevropa. Mm. And terrible to open. Who made this? Why? Maybe you're opening it the wrong way. <laughs> the other side looks the same. I don't know. <laughs> they look good. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. They are good. They have some weird taste on the side though. Maybe I'm imagining that. I don't taste it. I grew up with similar stuff like that, actually. Mm -hmm. They're good though. Yeah. A little bit too sweet for my liking, but... Yeah, I find the chocolate overpowering a bit. Mm. I love all the people walking in the background somewhere in this video. Oh yeah, whatever. We are filming on campus, so... Yeah. Okay, here we have the taste of tradition continues. Vanilla cookies with apricot, but for some reason written in German. Probably because it was imported, so... Yeah. There were like, I don't know, five different flavors of these in the store, but like they were the priciest items, so I was like, I can't buy five packets of cookies. Even though I would have loved to know what the other flavors would have tasted like. Ooh, I like that this is closable. Mm. I guess these are like traditional cookies. Oh! 
Ah, okay, because the filling is inside, you have to take yeah. like a double thing. Like a sandwich cookie. <laughs> it smells interesting. I'm not sure if that's sugar. I think I have to sugar on my nose now. <laughs> that, yeah, it's powdered sugar, I think. And like, there's a sugar place on it too. Oh yeah, wow. Mmm, <laughs> mm-hmm. The apricot is way more flavorful than I expected. Like for the small amount of cream that's inside of there, I taste a lot of apricot with this. But also the vanilla. The vanilla is very strong mm -hmm. in flavor. And the cookie is very crumbly. Mm -hmm. um, I think, again, a good tea cookie. Mm -hmm. But it's very dry. Mm -hmm. With all tea. Mm -hmm. Macau. Crispy wafers with coffee cream filling. Okay, this is an interesting opening method. That's cool. Oh. Kind of fancy. What the heck? Let's just open it here, right? Yeah. It's so funny to me that coffee cream looks exactly the same like chocolate cream because like if I look at this I would think it's chocolate or maybe hazelnut. Mm, I would not get the idea that this is coffee flavored. It smells like coffee though. Oh god. Smell it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that has very much coffee. Crumbly, of course. Ooh. <laughs> just hit me, <laughs> the coffee. It takes a second, yeah, but it's also like, I mean, yeah. Like the thing is, when you first bite into it, there's really nothing and you're like, wait, where's the coffee? Then it doesn't start with coffee flavor, it kind of starts more like with the roasted flavor of mm -hmm. the coffee and then it suddenly goes into coffee and it's like, what? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a very interesting way to taste something, I feel like. Very sweet again. Not my thing. Um, no, my your turn. No, no, okay. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> There's only two products in here. So we're gonna start with the Lokum traditional. Now, I'm still confused where Lokum comes from, because like I also had it like in the Bosnia box, and um, I connect Lokum with Bosnia, but I think it's like inherent to the entire region, mm -hmm. because this is definitely produced in Macedonia. So, if this is not the typical Macedonian thing, I'm sorry. Oh god, this is gonna be very powder sugar. Very powder sugar. What is my English level today? Oh, there's another plastic inside. Mm -hmm. Great. Look at that. This is probably not really visible at all, but... Do you think you can like break one and two or something? Is it too much locum for you? I think it is quite a bit, no? Thanks. It doesn't really smell like anything. No. Tastes like sugar. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, like, there's no flavor in it. Mm. I mean, then again, it's just called locum, so I guess maybe unflavored locum doesn't have a flavor, I don't know. It's not bad, uh -huh. but I don't think I would buy it. No, me neither. Like, it's like, if somebody would offer it to me, I would, like, take one piece, but then I would be like, I'm fine, because the thing is, I like sugary stuff, but usually I prefer to have a flavor. And this is literally just like eating a block of sugar, but with a weird consistency. Oh my god, this is so sweet. It's just like, Ooh. It does taste a bit like honey in the aftertaste, I feel like. Yeah. My turn. Mm -hmm. It's lemon praline. Yeah, that's why I was keeping it for the end. We're gonna do the um, cannibalism at the very end of the video. <laughs> it's again from Yevropa. You know, seeing the picture kind of reminds me of like um, those weird fake banana with chocolate candies that are very Ooh, terrible. Whoa. So that's <laughs> yeah. why I'm like a bit worried about this. I know like um, chocolate filled with lemon and usually that's good, but like if, it, if this is like fake lemon that is chocolate covered, this is probably gonna be bad. Uh -huh. I'm like, it looks like the bananas in small, so I don't know. So we love getting cut off mid-sentence by a dying battery, but anyway, you were saying something about... Yeah, I was saying that this kind of looks like, um, like it should mimic a slice of lemon. Yeah, kinda, maybe? kinda. This is neither of the two things, actually. This is not what I expected. It's better than the banana stuff, but it's still, it's still not great. 
You can say that loud, I'm not in trouble. I don't well. like it. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can tell from my face that I don't like it. Oh my god, this tastes so weird to me. It's okay to me, but only because I know the bananas, and the bananas are much worse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but... We finished off on a weird note in this video, I feel like. Oh, yeah. Oh. And that was all the products I had. Mm. Was still a fun experience. Looking into the world of Macedonian sweets. Yeah. Learn more about its culture, even if it was just through candy. True. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching us do that. If you did, please leave a like. Comment down below anything you want to comment down below. As said in the beginning, especially if these products are traditional or not, if you mm. like them, if you hate them, what did we miss? What should we have bought instead? Do you agree that the lemon thing is disgusting? <laughs> <laughs> if you had it before. Yeah, if, if you are aware of it. If you are Macedonian especially. Like, I would love to have some Macedonian insights into this video, I suppose. I don't know. Um, and if you like videos like this one, or travel vlogs, travel dogs, cooking videos, urban exploration, beauty stuff, social commentary, story times, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I would just advise you to go check out the rest of my channel, see if there's more stuff you'd enjoy, and if there is, maybe subscribe and stay up to date with everything I'm gonna post in the future. If you wanna support me financially, Patreon and Coffee are both in the description. The same as my Discord server if you ever wanna hang out and talk. But I'm currently rarely on there, so I'm not gonna make any promises that you will actually find me much to talk with, but like I am on there technically speaking. And with that being said, thank you for watching and hopefully see you next time. Bye. Bye. Woo. <laughs>